But I could definitely take this one. It's about 120 out. In a few days, the New Zealand map's going to be released, and there's going to be a new rifle available for purchase. That's going to be the 303 Bolt Action British Rifle. Now, a lot of people are wondering, is this rifle going to be good? Is it going to work for whitetail? Is it going to work for mule deer? Well, there's one way to find out, and that is to go hunting. All right, we got eyes on our first herd of whitetail here, and that one's not a bad sized buck, and there's another decent buck out in the front right there, but this one is actually going to be the one that we're probably going to go for, unless I can figure out a way to slow him down here. Which, maybe we could. That could work. That could work too. Alright, we took that one down and... Tried for that one as well. So we tried to double up there. The question is, did it actually happen? Or did it not? I don't know. We'll have to go find out. Well, it does appear that it happened because there's one piled up here. This is the first one we took down and the second one is piled up right down there. So it worked out pretty well. And uh, you're talking about like 150 yards out. Let's find out how it did. I ended up getting a left lung, liver and stomach shot at 126 yards. Let's take a look at the penetration there. It's not bad. It's really not bad. I mean, the fact that it went all the way through the lung and hit the liver and stomach is not bad. 170 and 126 yards out. Let's take a look at this buck now. This one here potentially should be a double lung shot. And if it was, then I'll be pretty satisfied. Uh, it's actually gonna be shoulder blade right lung, only a single lung shot. Now, I feel like that should have had just a little more penetration considering we're only 150 yards away. And it definitely should have hit through and nicked the other lung. But you know what? It did drop him, or at least he didn't go too far. So I guess it's not bad. We just found a couple of whitetail bucks out here and they're about 160 out. We're gonna see if we can't take down one of these bucks. Turns a little more. We could take down the doe, definitely. That'll work. And let's try and get on. See, that's the thing. The 303, it's really, really tough to get follow-ups on a, on a deer or an animal. But that should have connected. Yeah, we definitely got a hit into him. Is he going to go down from that, though, is the question. He definitely will from that. Yeah, he'll run a little ways, but he will definitely go down. So let's try that one out there. We took down that doe. I think we just dropped her. All right, so this should be the buck that we dropped. I believe he dropped. And he did drop. We double lunged him at 160 yards out. He was pretty much broadside. And you can see that's very, very accurate there. Centered the lung absolutely beautifully. Didn't get a ton of penetration. You'd see there, it looks like we barely hit the back lung. I mean, you would probably think that you'd be able to get a double lung and it should come out the opposite side uh, with the 303 rifle. But anyways, we did take him down at 160. Now the doe should have been over here and the doe should have dropped, I believe. So again, it's probably going to be a double lung and actually double lung and a heart shot right there. So kind of tough to beat that, but we barely got the penetration. It looks like at least, but double lung and heart, that's pretty decent. Definitely pretty decent. But here's our buck down here. This is the one that we hit on the run. Uh, the first shot we hit a little bit low and far back at 230, just barely hit behind the heart there. You can see a little bit low though. And then we got intestine at 308. Yeah, this is definitely going to be quite a bit better. We're about 288 yards, which is kind of close to 300. I do want to see how the 303 does that kind of long distance here. And 288 yards is definitely out there a little ways. So let's see if we can't take down this buck. And if we drop him, which I'm hoping we can, we're going to try and follow up and take down this buck with a fast ethical shot as well. So here we go. 288, I think we'll stay zeroed in for 160 and just hold a little bit high. Well, the shot was definitely good. He piled up, but the recoil on this thing was so great that we did not even come close to a follow-up shot on that buck over there. We should be able to get a follow-up here in a second though, so don't worry. All right, here we go. 
went for a straight hard shot at 330 and we just dropped that buck so i don't know if we hit the heart or not but it definitely looked pretty good to me and that's two bucks down now i'm very curious if we heart shot this buck i'm pretty sure we should have heart shot him and he's piled up right here this is the second buck that we got let's find out and actually that was a lower neck shot it's a really cool looking buck too but it's kind of tough to tell whether or not the M1 could have done that as well or not. I feel like that's decent penetration though. It's not like it barely hit it. It definitely hit it and it dropped him at 300 yards. So that's still pretty impressive to me. Now let's go over here and find out how we did on this buck. This one should have been for surely single lung, hopefully double lung. We hit everything. We hit the shoulder blade, the spine, and the left lung there. And he still ran a little ways. He didn't exactly pile up. At least I don't think he piled up. Tracked him a little ways, um, but he had to have dropped. There's no way he didn't drop with that shot. No, he didn't though. We watched him run a little ways. See, we definitely watched him run a little ways. That should have dropped him right in his tracks right there. I should have just crumbled him. Anyways, that's super, super long distance. You're talking 280, 300 yards. The other buck was 120. We hit the shoulder blade. Now we're going to get a little closer and try and get some under 100 yard shots, which are pretty common for, you know, rifle hunting. 100, 150 yards. No further than like 200. Holy, that's a giant buck right there. We just found a massive white tail. He's about 120 out coming right towards us here. Um, we're going to try and take a broadside shot if we can get one. And I'm really hoping we can get double lung on him. But he's kind of in the brush right there. So I can't really take that shot. But I could definitely take this one. It's about 120 out. Definitely smoked him. Yeah, he's down. He is down. There was another decent buck here somewhere if I could find. So let's have a look and see if we did in fact get a nice double lung shot on this beautiful whitetail buck. This is our biggest one that we've seen so far. By far. Let's have a look. That's a great whitetail buck. And we did in fact get a double lung at 113 yards. He's going to score 234.6. So a beautiful white tail and it weighed 201 pounds. That's some pretty good penetration. You can see it went through both lungs and came out the opposite side there. But that's only 113 yards out. I believe the M1 could do that as well. So I'm really not thinking that it's that much better than the M1. If at all better than the M1 period. Oh, I think I found him. I think I found him. He's definitely going to be one of these bucks, I believe. I think that's a melanistic white-tailed doe. That's kind of cool. Even though we're on a beta, like what a perfect rare to find than a rare melanistic white-tailed doe. Wait, where is she? Oh, she's coming to the, she's in the back right there. See her? That's her right there. Because like, I'm not going to miss this. You know what I mean? It's perfect. It's absolutely perfect to find this kind of a rare So we'll take down that buck. We should be able to get on this melanistic here. Oh, I think we just smoked her. Definitely going to take her down. And maybe try and take down one more. Now, what I'm wondering is, even with a flesh hit, is the uh, 303 going to actually take down a whitetail? So it's actually a good thing that it didn't... Well, one of them definitely went down. We have honey pressure there. See that? So we definitely got one. Now, I think we hit that first buck, like, right here somewhere. And then we hit the melanistic. Yeah, we definitely hit something right here. Non-vital hit on... Is that the doe? Yeah, so we got a non-vital hit. That's actually a pretty solid shot. Uh, about 150 yards on the run. It will definitely take her down pretty soon. And there goes the rest of the deer. There was another buck that we hit, but uh, I think he ran this way as well. So we got blood here. Yeah, there's definitely blood here from our other buck, right? No, that's not actually from our buck. Um, I mean, I know he ran this way. It's just a matter of if we can find him or not. This is going to be our melanistic right here. So let's have a look at our rare melanistic white-tailed doe. Wow. I believe I've only seen one of these before, maybe. So yeah, it's kind of unfortunate we're on the beta, but you know what? Like I said, this is kind of the perfect rare to find on a beta because it wasn't a big buck. You know what I mean? Like if that was a, can you imagine if it was like a 220s white teal melanistic buck? <laughs> that would just be 
I'll be like sick to my stomach if that did happen. Um, but that's really cool. I definitely want to get it mounted now and put it in our trophy lodge for now, for sure. So that's going to be really cool. I ended up getting an intestine hit on the run at 196, and that took her down. I was going to say the whole entire herd of whitetail were standing right there, and I never saw him. And the fact that he ran this way, I'm like, he must have dropped in this grass here somewhere. And sure enough, he did. But let's find out how we hit and what our penetration was like. Ooh. Oh, wow. 205 yards, and we didn't get penetration. I'm not saying we would have hit the heart. But we probably would have hit the heart. Um, we definitely would have nicked the... Well, we for sure would have hit the right lung. But we might have nicked the heart there if we had any penetration. I mean, we put it right in the shoulder. Kind of like right in the armpit there. It was an awesome shot. We just didn't get the penetration um, at 205 yards out with the 303 British rifle. Now, would that work with the M1? I feel like with the M1, that would have been a right lung shot. And we would have had a nice vital hit on this buck. That's just my opinion, but based off of several uh, several hours of practice and experience, I guess I could say, with Call of the Wild. All right, so we saw how good the 303 worked on the white-tailed deer. Now I want to head to Silver Ridge Peaks here and try it out on the mule deer. We got a super tiny buck right there, and I saw a somewhat decent level 3 somewhere over here as well. That is going to be our buck right there. He's 212 yards away on the walk. We'll be zeroed in for 160. We should be able to hold pretty much right on. And... Ooh. I don't know if I'm liking that. Okay, he's down. <laughs> I was going to say, uh, he took that pretty good. I don't know if he's going to go down. But if you look closely right there, you can see kind of his left antler sticking out right on the road right there. So he did go down. At about 212 with a 303. You know what? We have a bison out there bedded at 330 yards. And what a better way to test the penetration at this bison here at 330 yards as he's pretty broadside right there. So we'll zero in for 320 and hold right behind the front shoulder. That should have been perfect. That should have gotten a single lung. If it had any penetration at all, it should definitely get a single lung. Because the M1, that would have been a single lung for sure. Alright, so our muley buck should be piled up right here. In fact, he just barely made it to the road. And piled up right on the white line. <laughs> it's like, he's just barely safe. Because if a car came by, you know, he's safe. As long as you're on this side of the white line, you're fine, right? That was a double lung shot at 202 yards. 218 score but that was an absolute perfect shot i was holding for the front of the lung there as he was walking for about 150 and it just smoked him it worked incredible he only ran maybe like 30 yards that's decent penetration you know it's really good penetration but i don't think it's about the penetration i think what what's good about this rifle is the expansion Right, so it's not going to go all the way through like a, a normal hollow point, or not a hollow point, but a normal, like say a normal polymer tip bullet would. It would go through the first hole, very small, and then the exit hole would be very big. But I feel like this one, the entrance hole and the exit hole are both going to be very big, which is why it's not going to have quite as much penetration as say the M1, but it is going to have a little bit more damage and take them down a little bit quicker. Okay, I think it must have ran quite a ways and then came back and piled up here because... There's no way it only ran like 30 yards and piled up. I guess we'll find out right now. Okay. So we got a right lung shot at 339 yards. But let's find out. It was quartered like this. We should have hit somewhere around... Yeah, it's a perfect shot. You know, and... Uh, it says he only ran 54 yards. Okay, so if you took that shot with the M1... That thing would go at least like 100, 150 yards. So that's the difference. With this versus the M1 is, like I said, the expansion. And if you get at least a single lung, it's going to go down way faster than, say, the M1. But the M1, you're probably going to get more penetration. Although you're not going to get more penetration than this on a bison. It's just not really going to happen. It's very similar. I'm talking like medium game and, you know, uh, well, medium large game, basically. This is extra, extra large. You're talking 1,500 pounds right here. So yeah, that worked out pretty well.
Now I want to test one more thing, and that is I want to take a 400 yard shot on a mule deer and see if we can't in fact get a double lung shot. But that's going to probably have to be right after we take down this massive Rocky Mountain bull elk here, because where are these bucks? I hear them, but I don't see them anywhere. Um, but yeah, we are not going to pass up this opportunity in this massive bull. Look at him right there. All right, let's see how it does on the Rocky Bull. <laughs> Holy, that is one tough bull. I don't know if he's going down from that. And we're going to need a follow-up. Uh, well, he went down. I honestly don't know what to say about that. There's a buck. Now, the fact that we didn't drop that Rocky Mountain Elk, I guess even if we did hit him with the M1, they're still going to run a little ways. Now, the Rocky Bull was standing right here. So, it was definitely a vital hit. A really good shot, but he ran. Well, he ran back that way like 80 yards. Circled around another 100 yards. So, he probably ran a total of like 200 yards here before he did pile up finally. But, like I said, I do believe we did get a nice vital hit. Talking like 440 score or something like that. 414 score. Nonetheless, we did get a right lung shot. And it tucked in there pretty nicely there. He ran 117 yards, so that is not bad. I do think, though, with the M1, he probably would have ran maybe 200, 250. Even with a single lung hit. So that's pretty cool. It will take them down pretty fast. I really wanted to take down a mule deer at 400 yards, but honestly, it's been very difficult to get one at 400 yards. I keep finding them like 200, 250, and then they trot away, and then there's brush. But anyways, we're going to go for a 400 yard shot on this pronghorn instead. So it'll be about 405 yards, and it doesn't really matter if it's a buck or a doe or whatever it is, but it just matters if we can make a good shot. And that was a pretty good shot. Yeah, that was an absolute perfect shot right there. At 420 yards, we split the lung. Perfect double lung shot. We we're holding for maybe an inch or two above the spine for 320. And we had uh, about like a six or eight inch drop. But let's head back to the Trophy Lodge now and take a look at our rare melanistic whitetail and talk a little bit more about the 303 bolt action rifle. Well guys, welcome back to our Trophy Lodge, and this is our rare melanistic white-tail doe that we got today. Now we're in the beta, so we're not going to be able to keep it, but I do believe I have one of these in my main account, and I think it was a white-tail buck. So it's still pretty cool. While we're trying out the 303 bolt-action British rifle, um, we ended up taking down a rare melanistic white-tail doe, so that was really cool. And um, to talk about the 303 British bolt-action rifle, I would say... If you do get a single lung, it's going to have a little bit more expansion than, say, the M1. But the M1 is going to have kind of a little bit more distance and have more penetration than, say, the 303 uh, British bolt-action rifle. And that's pretty much it. You know, it's either get the expansion or the penetration. You just have to choose. So yeah, I definitely recommend using it for white teal. It's going to work really good for white teal, mule deer, and of course fallow and uh, wild boar too. I believe it will work good for too. Anyways, all kinds of medium sized game. You'll be able to understand what I'm talking about. But as far as taking down white tail herds, it's going to work pretty good. You know, because you're just not going to get as fast of a reload time as say the M1. But either way, every shot that you take is pretty much guaranteed if you hit it good enough. Anyways, that's going to be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you next time.